Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For the Mac Mini new M4 processor, many people are wondering how fast it is to running large language model. Today I will do a side-by-side -side comparison between M4, M3, and also AMD GPU and the NVIDIA GPU. I will show you the model I'm gonna using. This is using the Olama. I'm using the latest, uh, one of the best coding model, 7B version, Q1 2.5 Codo. The installation is very straightforward. So this one is all you need. So. So this is uh, my local NVIDIA GPU, which is a Sony 80 Ti. So this GPU is running inside a, a virtual machine. It's using Ubuntu. It's a Sony 80 Ti. It has a 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So I think uh, the reason I'm choosing this one is because uh, currently you can get a really good deal on second-hand market for the Sony ADTI, Ti, which is a really, really powerful GPU. And uh, also it's running inside a virtual machine, which is a AMD GPU. So this is the AMD 6700 XT, which also has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Once I ask uh, for the Rock M information, so it just shows me here. It's, this is 6700 XT, which has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So I remoted the uh, logged in into each of the machine. So on the left side is the NVIDIA next to it, which is AMD 6700 XT. And the third one is uh, MacBook. Uh, Pro with M3 Pro processor. I'm showing the CPU information here. And the last one is uh, my latest uh, addition, the Mac Mini M4 with uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I think uh, for the M4 is uh, 10 core and 10 threads. And for the M3, So this is uh, M3 Pro, which has 11 cores and 11 threads. For the M4, it's uh, 10 cores and 10 threads. And for the other machines, they don't have powerful CPU because they are in virtual machine and uh, they are mainly working with the GPU. So CPU doesn't uh, matter much. All right, the so next, uh, we will start uh, the Olama running. So I will use uh, this command, Olama run Q1 2.5-codo 7b. In order to get uh, the benchmark information, I added uh, the flag dash dash verbose. And I will copy it to all the other threes and uh, we will start uh, running them. The initial running it will take uh, some time to load the model into the memory, either GPU memory or CPU memory. And then I will ask uh, the same question. So basically because uh, it's a coding large language model, so we'll ask some coding questions. Okay, I will copy your prompt to all others. I will press enter to start. I will start with the MacBook.
All right, we have the results here. So as we can see from left to right, this is uh, the order that uh, the fastest to the slowest. So the window is uh, Sodi eighty Ti, which has a astonishing high speed, which is uh, almost close to one twenty tokens per second. The next is uh, AMD. 6700 XT, which has uh, around the 46 tokens per second. And then for the MacBook, the M3 Pro has uh, around uh, 27 tokens per second. And uh, the last one is uh, M4, which is uh, 20 tokens per second. Okay, so, so I think uh, you can get an idea about uh, the director comparison we want also need to consider the cost. So obviously the most expensive one among them is uh, the MacBook Pro, which costs uh, over 2000 US dollars. And then I think the Mac mini M4 costs uh, 600 uh, United States dollars. So that's, uh, if you take that into consideration, because M4 is really quite uh, efficient in terms of the price uh, per token. And then for the rest, obviously I think the NVIDIA 3080 Ti because it's uh, one of the high-end GPU. I'm not surprised it's uh, fast. And for the AMD 6700 XT GPU, I would say it's also a very, very nice GPU, it's also in terms of the price, price to token, because I, I, I feel like uh, usually we want to take a multiple measurement, so let's uh, try another one. CSV file. Okay, let's uh, start from right to left. Okay, so, so they are about uh, similar to the previous results. So I think uh, that's good. So lastly, I wanted to mention about uh, one advantage of the M4 processor, which I hold is that because it's very, very power efficient. So I would have added a uh, like wall power meter to measure the consumption. I will do it right now and uh, take a screenshot of the results and I will paste it here. Okay, so the result is about uh, 30 watts when it's uh, running fully. Compared to the idle voltage, which is around the 3 watts. So, so I think uh, for 30 watts, it's uh, certainly is much less than the discrete GPU, such as the NVIDIA or 6700 XT, which cost at least uh, around the 200 watts. The MacBook or the discrete GPU, they can both run the 7B model easily and uh, fastly. So I, I hope uh, this video is useful to you and you find it interesting. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much. Goodbye.